What's up everybody? Tanner here again, hunt trapping horns. These are the beautiful trout me and my son Finn caught yesterday. And so we're getting ready, just gonna do a simple brine. We're gonna smoke these up and then what we're gonna make is called like a deconstructed sushi. So imagine like a sushi roll, but basically in a bowl. So rice, um, some type of fish, meat, whatever you wanna put in there for kind of your protein. Probably throw in some cucumbers, avocado, maybe a little tomato, something like that, some soy sauce. Boom, it is absolutely delicious. Um, and we're gonna smoke these up on the Traeger. So, but first we gotta get a brine going. So this is a very simple one. Um, we're kind of going for a little bit of spice, citrus, um, with a little bit of heat. Um, so, you know, me and my wife like a little bit of heat in ours, so. Um, and then definitely with the soy. Always, always gotta go with the soy on this one. So what we're gonna start off with, and I, I'm definitely not a professional cook by any means, but I think been fishing for long enough, anyone who can keep rainbow trout tasting good um, on a consistent basis, I think you do okay. So let's kind of unpack our goodies here. Basically got water to help uh, stretch out our brine and fill up this pan to fully cover these fish. Uh, pure 100% orange juice. We're gonna use a little bit of garlic powder. Gotta throw a little bit of dill in there. Onion powder. Smoked paprika chili powder, and of course, the soy, soy sauce. So, I don't measure everything out exactly. Um, I'm just not one of those people. Um, but I look at how many, I look at how much meat I have, how long I have to soak it, kind of how powerful do I want to make this, strong do I want to make it. Um, so we're gonna start off with the chili powder. I'm gonna put in about, it's a little over a teaspoon in there, a little over a teaspoon. And then, next let's go onion powder. Put a little bit more of this in there. That'll be more of a tablespoon. Garlic, love garlic, love garlic. It's gonna be a hefty tablespoon in there. Hopefully the wind doesn't blow this all out. Smoked paprika, huge, huge fan of smoked paprika. I'm gonna put a couple teaspoons in there, a couple good teaspoons in there. Some dill. And then you know what, and as we go, you know, don't be surprised, I might add some more of this in later after we get this all mixed up. And then now, one of the biggest things is so the soy sauce. The soy sauce is a huge kicker. I mean, I'm putting, that's about a third of this bottle um, that I just put in there. So we're talking about five, about six ounces, seven ounces are in there. Our OJ. And then to stretch it out, make sure we cover everything up just add in the water and that right there is our simple brine we're going to take it in here since we forgot the whisk we're just going to use the all-natural one hands are clean don't worry and if they're not we're not going to be eating it pour this over the fish to where it covers them boom perfect and then all we're going to do is cover this back up and let it sit. Let it marinate, soak up the juices, keep it nice and cool in the fridge. And then I like to generally do this overnight, but definitely we just don't have the time today. Um, so this one's going to be for about five-ish hours, six hours. Um, I mean, like I said, I like to generally do overnight. So we're talking, I mean, you know, 12 plus. Um, but for the all purposes, this is gonna work great. It's gonna taste great. Um, and it's not gonna to be too overpowering still because our little ones are gonna eat some of this too. So um, we're gonna let this sit, marinate, and then next time I see you, we're gonna be firing up the Traeger right back here and get this thing going. See you in a few. Hey, what's up everybody? So the fish have been marinating for a few hours now. Um, now all that flavors and stuff have been soaking in real good. It's about to, it's gonna taste awesome. I can already can't hardly wait. Just got back from the store, got all the other stuff we're uh, using to make up this uh, deconstructed sushi. 
Me and my wife absolutely, absolutely love this. So uh, fish are pretty much ready to go. Um, the only thing left is we got the pellets loaded in the smoker. Time to fire this thing up. Let's get cooking. So just wanted to pop out here, check on these fish, see how things are going. We got the Traeger is doing its thing, smoking away. Here we go. Oh, baby. Now, while those fish keep cooking and finish uh, getting smoked up on the Traeger, we're going to start the brown rice, start dicing up veggies, get all the extra stuff going on. So we got a full course meal, probably dice up some watermelon scents. So you can see it is getting a hot summer day ahead of us. So let's get going. Dinner's coming soon. There you go. Now let's check these fish. <laughs> check that out. That looks pretty bomb to me right there. Let's check it. Oh yeah. That. It's time to eat. Hey, what's up everybody? Tanner here. So we have the meal. All right, we got some soy and wasabi mixed in, in here. We got the beautiful red trout, some brown rice, avocado, carrot, tomatoes, English cucumber, and of course salt sea uh, salt seaweed. Papers here, so it's so good. This is amazing to eat. So you just throw on some rice, literally deconstructed sushi. So you can't mess this up. I mean, some rice, and we did brown rice. Um, I prefer brown rice, just a little bit healthier for me. <laughs> um, you throw on tomato, slice of cuke, let's get some avocado, love me some avocado, mix up that soy and wasabi, I'm actually just dripping it on here this time, to make it easy for the camera, deconstructed sushi, here we go, mm. <laughs> Oh man, so messy, probably just me, but so good. It literally tastes like sushi. Got a little bit of kick and the spice coming in from the fish and I'm making a total mess, but that is so good. Oh, got a little, I got the flavor coming through, the salt, the seaweed, the trout taste is trout's money. Mm. The soy and wasabi, the little kick. That is bomb. That is really good. And there you have it. A little cook. After a little catching, I'm going to run back in and finish my dinner actually with my family. They're just inside. I wanted to come out here and share a little bit with you. Um, but yeah, make sure to check us out. If, if you like what you're seeing, let us know. If you want to see something different, shoot us a comment, shoot us a message. Um, and if you want to see more, make sure to hit that uh, subscribe button, follow us. We got a lot more coming at you here pretty quick. Um, we got some pretty big plans coming up even this early season. We got some good deer hunting coming up. I know Justin's itching to get out there. He has got a bruiser bear on camera. Um, he's been watching for more than one year. So there's some big stuff actually coming, big stuff happening. Um, we got some more uh, episodes coming up with Project Local Waters. It's just going to be some more and more uh, local lakes, rivers, streams, stuff. They're right in our backyards. Uh, it, and we just want to bring it to you on um, the best quality that we can. So for uh, all of us here at Hunt, Trap, and Horns, I'm Tanner. Thanks for checking us out. And our video, The Deconstructed Sushi. We'll see you next time.